Dr. Elizabeth Chilton assumes the role as the 21st president of UNH during a challenging time for America's universities, which have seen a series of protests in the wake of political tensions happening overseas and here at home. One of Chilton's first acts in her new role was to establish a task force to examine policies on protesting at UNH. To just take a look at what are our policies, what are our procedures, um, how do they compare to best practices in the U.S.? Are there ways we can improve them? Chilton says another challenge for the university is a decline in the number of students seeking higher education. We're launching a strategic planning process. I've just appointed the co-chairs of that. And we're really going to take a look in the mirror. What are our assets? What do we see in terms of the, the demographic decline and the other headwinds that are facing higher ed? UNH is now participating in a new direct admissions program and marketing itself more, including this ad that will run in New York City during the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to attract more students to campus. Chilton says there will also be a push to make higher ed more affordable. If we accepted a student here at the University of New Hampshire and they decided not to come, our number one competitor is no college at all. And that is really concerning because that is a clear indicator of this questioning of whether a college is worth it or affordable or reachable. But at the root of her plan is personal connection, something Chilton says is vital to the university's success. How do we want to make sure we're um, ensuring that our students are successful throughout their lives, not just their first job, but how they navigate all of the twists and turns that life has to offer. That's what our job is. Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.